were over there with our hands up. Yeah, like we had to walk we, actually right out there. We had to walk like, right, right there. Up here. We had to walk through that And way we had to have our hands up. The bells were still ringing at Sagas High School Friday morning, as were the sounds of gunshots for students so Kira Stapp and Zoe Rex. Both students were barricaded in their English classroom during the shooting. Like, I still remember the sound clearly, you know. Um, I still remember the, like, the feeling of starting to panic and then having to calm down so I could, you know, help my friends calm down and keep myself steady, you know, and it's just, it's terrible. It made me feel like we're out in the open, like we're gonna die. Like I really thought for a second that I could die. And that's something that like I shouldn't have to feel. Sagas High School was prepared to respond. In 2018, it issued a 245 page safety plan that covered a variety of emergencies. Part of that plan, immediate mental health counseling. A school district spokesperson tells Newsy crisis counselors have been providing help since Thursday and will continue through the weekend. The National Center for PTSD estimates that 28% of people who witness a mass shooting develop post-traumatic stress disorder and a third develop acute stress disorder. The American Psychological Association says reactions to trauma can include development of new fears, sleep disturbance, nightmares, sadness, reduced concentration, or irritability. For both STAP and Rex, that stress is still raw. Yeah, I woke up at five because something fell off of my bed and it, you know, landed on the floor like that. And I woke up at, like almost crying, almost screaming. It felt like something was like right here, you know, and I had to look around like, okay, I'm just in my room. Churches around the area have opened their doors to anyone who wants to mourn, and grief counselors have been meeting with families. At Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital, which treated several of the victims, officials no, say in, in addition to helping the community, they are looking at how to support those who responded to the shooting. We're um, supporting those, you know, in, um, in higher level supervisors, managers, directors, are supporting those who are working directly with, you know, victims um, or working with the families of, of the victims. The LA County Sheriff says the shooting at Sagus High School took 16 seconds from start to finish. For those affected, the mental health recovery will last far longer. It just scares me to ever want to come back.